Hello folks, this is Luxtruck9 here, bringing you a video on how to convert a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Replay into a video file. Um, this is going to require a micro SD card in your Switch, and a micro SD card adapter for your computer so you can read it. Alright, first you're going to want to go to Vault, you're going to want to go to Replays, and you're going to want to go to Replay Data, assuming you don't have a replay video already created. So basically you use replay data to create replay videos and those videos are from a set perspective whereas replay data you can view it from any perspective. Uh, so for example I can just view some random replay data. Uh, you can save a replay at the end of a battle when you see the characters and their kill counts you would press Y and you can save it and it'll give you the option to save it. So alright here is a video we are previewing it and you have all the controls listed on the right. So let's say that uh, we want to actually record something now. Let's say we actually want to do a real conversion. So we, we looked at the video a little bit, we want to do a conversion now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to convert to video. And in convert to video, you can check all these settings. Click OK. Uh, I'm just going to call this replay test. Not super important. I mean, that name of your file it's up to you it doesn't really matter too much and so it's going to restart it and it's going to give the ability to record and i'm going to be able to choose record by clicking a so right now it's going to record see because the bubble is filled and if i click a it will unfill it which means i will not be recording and so i will press the plus to resume and i'll also i can also use it to pause it to restart recording and uh, you can record different sections. So for example, if I, I can start recording here, and then I can pause, I can stop recording, and then I can pause again, and I can start re-recording, and voila. And so once you have the amount of footage you want for that video, so let's say I just wanted that little bit, not a great bit, but let's say I wanted that, you would do LRA start. I would recommend hitting A before, sorry, A plus. Before hitting the plus, I'd recommend hitting A, because if you hit the plus before A, you might unresume the video, uh, which can lead to you clipping the last few seconds of something you didn't want. Alright, so now that video should be made. So we should now be able to go back and go to replay video. Now in the replay video, uh, we will see, uh, look, replay test, and we can play the video out just to take sure, make sure that it uh, looks good and it's what we want. Alright, there we go, it's the two separate clips. Boom. All right, there we go. So now we have that clip. And so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn off the switch. Um, so if you hold down the home, no, sorry, don't hold down the home button. Click on, uh, what is it? Okay, so you need to turn off your switch. I'm totally forgetting how to do it via controller. You can hold down the power button. That is also an option. Uh, okay, I'm looking ridiculous here, so I'm just gonna grab, put, hold down the power button on the switch, and there we go. Now we're gonna get power options, and I'm going to turn it off. Okay, great. Now that the switch is turning off, I can grab it out of the dock. And now I'm going to show the video of me. Okay, let's make this big so people can see it. All right, so you have your switch now, and it's now been turned off. You're going to pop open the back stand, and you're going to push in, and your SD card should come out. Now take out your SD card. Be very careful, because... This is uh, definitely a very valuable piece of your Switch equipment. And you're going to want to, and I'm going to insert this right now into the SD card adapter, micro SD card adapter, for my computer. All right, so. Okay, so now we have the main monitor up. And you can see my main monitor. And so this is the USB drive. This is the micro SD card. It should contain all the games. In this case, you're going to want to go to Nintendo. 
you want to go to album, you go to 2020, which is the year. You should go to the month. You should then go to the day. Oh, sorry. I th hmm. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, okay, yeah. I, I don't know why you have to go through different hoops. Oh, sorry, it's under extra. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, those are all screenshots. So you get an extra, some random number hash, the year, the month, and the date, and then voila! We now have the profile of that game. Um, so are, there are some things to quickly note about this. Um, the file is going to be in a different ratio than the video is played on the Switch. It comes at 1280 by 720. The switch on a dock with standard HDMI uh, does 1920 by 1080. Just keep that in mind. It uh, will have 60 frames a second, which is nice. The audio bitrate will also be a little bit lower than a high quality video, but nonetheless, this is a great way to convert a Super Smash Bros. replay to a video file without needing to buy a capture card. And this is very simple. You just need a USB, uh, a micro USB, or sorry, micro SD adapter for your computer. Anyway, thank you for watching.